Good evening. My name is Penny and this evening I'm going to pull another card from my card deck and it's called The Whole Woman and it contains many aspects of a fully rounded woman or a whole woman. So I'll shuffle the deck first. See what happens today. Okay, so the card says, the whole woman loves her body. I cherish my body as sacred. So when you're a whole woman, you accept all aspects of yourself as sacred, as worthy of your attention, your care, your love. And our body is the vessel, the vehicle that we use every single day of our life that allows us to do all the things that we need to do. It's something that we on a soul level have chosen to inhabit. And as our body changes over time, that's also our soul's choice of the experience that we want to have. So we want to experience life in a particular type of body that starts a, a female or a male body, but also in the size or shape or uh, the aspects of the body that we have are all chosen by ourselves on a soul level so that we can have a particular experience in our life or many different experiences. So for me, I have felt like I've inhabited a, a range of bodies or different sized bodies, different uh, appearance of my body. However, it's still my body and it deserves to be loved by me because it's my responsibility to love my body and to cherish it as sacred. So that's the way I look at it. It's not about the appearance of the body, but it's about the fact that our body is ourselves, it's us, it's our vessel, and it's our responsibility to care for and love and protect our own body as much as we can. So how do we cherish our body as sacred? Well, to me, this is choosing experiences that are nourishing for our body, that are protective of our body, that support our body, our health, our well-being, our physical safety, being aware of our physical safety and our physical well-being at all times so that we can make those decisions that best support us. It's learning to change our perception of our body. I'm sure there are some people out there who have only positive thoughts towards their bodies, but many people don't. Many people do have a certain amount of self-rejection regarding their body. And so it's working on these feelings and these thoughts, these habits of thought about our bodies. And these can change because from my experience, uh, my thoughts towards my body have changed uh, in a very dramatic way um, over the last few years with a lot of effort though, with a lot of intention. So it's, deciding what we want to think about our body, how we would like to feel about our body, and then working on changing those thoughts and those feelings. So intercepting them and thinking more positive thoughts and building those habits of positive thought. So when we look at our body, we feel loving thoughts and loving feelings towards our body. So I know firsthand that this is possible and it's just about seeing things in a different way and being willing to change the way we see things and look at things and feel about things. And this is something that we can do just spending time with our body. I think that's really important. Touching our body, having loving touch, practicing these uh, experiences until they become natural to us. So at first they might not feel natural. For a lot of people, we try to pretend our body doesn't exist. Uh, we don't look in the mirror, we don't touch our body, but to become intimate with our body, to become friends with our body, a loving partner to our body, it requires that we pay a bit more attention to our body, that we spend some time in front of the mirror with our body, that we spend some time touching and feeling our body, seeing what it feels like in a sensory aspect to be connected to our body. So there are many things we can do moving our body, feeling how it feels to move, feeling how it feels when we give it nourishing food, when we swim and feel the water on our skin, for instance. It's being mindful, being present with all these experiences that help us to connect to all the things that our body can do for us 
and do with us and it helps us to build that appreciation of our body. So I think it's a continual practice. It's changing our society's perceptions. So it's okay to love ourselves. It's okay to love our bodies. Actually, it's our responsibility and we must love ourselves and our bodies to be able to navigate the world in a confident way. I think if we are feeling self-rejection of any part of ourselves, this really does stand in the way of us living our lives, of us having that pure frequency, that pure connection to ourselves and to be able to transmit that out into the world. So if we have all these things standing in our way, this, this self-hatred, it really affects our frequency and our creativity and what we're putting out and sharing with others. So if we can have this loving feeling towards our body, other people sense it. They warm to us, they feel comfortable with us because there's not that tension of us rejecting our own selves. So it's something to keep working on and to recognise as very, very important uh, to our self-development and our lives in general. So the whole woman loves her body. I cherish my body as sacred. <laughs>